If there is one country that divides opinion and is difficult to define, it should be China. Even so, there is a global narrative that portrays the Asian country as a rising hegemon, the next great powerhouse, and a major economic force in much of the world. Regardless of the labels attached to it, there is no denying the remarkable transformation in its economic and geopolitical status over the last three decades. In just 30 years, China accomplished a stunning feat by going from being one of the world's poorest nations to having the second largest economy. This East Asian country holds the record for the world's fastest developing country and has no plans of slowing down. China is a leader in manufacturing, one of the most technologically advanced nations, and it is now emerging as a construction powerhouse. China astonished the world by completing the world's longest underwater tunnel, a mega-project that has only added to the nation's resume as an infrastructural kingpin. Join us in today's video as we explore China's extraordinary undersea tunnel that has shocked the whole industry. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. China recently completed the world's longest underwater tunnel, the 10.79-kilometer Taihu Tunnel beneath Lake Taku in Jiangsu Province, eastern China, is a significant technological achievement for the country. Historically, compared to the rest of the mainland, China's eastern provinces have had less economic and infrastructure growth. According to China's state news agency Jinhua, the two-way tunnel, which has six lanes and is 17.45 meters wide, reportedly took about 2 million cubic meters of concrete to build. This undersea tunnel not only looks impressive, but it was also built in record time. To lessen driver strain, the tunnel ceiling has been lit with bright LED lights. The tunnel is part of the 43.9-kilometer-long Changzhou Highway, which opened to the public on December 30, 2021. It can be used as an alternative expressway between Shanghai and Nanjing, Shangshu's capital. The six-lane highway beneath Shanghai's Lake Taihu is the country's longest underwater roadway. The Norwegian Rift Tunnel is about three kilometers longer, but the Lake Taihu Tunnel is wider. There is now a different route that people can use to travel from Shanghai to Nanjing, Shangshu's capital. The introduction of multicolored LED lights on the tunnel ceiling has helped to reduce driver fatigue, but perhaps most impressively, the project was completed in just 20 years thanks to new waterproofing techniques. Construction site manager Wang Tongxiao stated that the 16-meter-long excavator utilized for the tunnel is all Chinese-made. Hence, a foreign-made tunneling gear wheel will no longer be essential for China as sophisticated instruments were deployed to dig up to 4 meters into the lake. Around 30 million people rely on Lake Taihu for their source of water. Unfortunately, the body of water has suffered contamination over many years, hence, the government has made efforts to stop the dumping of garbage and waste materials. The team responsible for the tunnel's construction claims that intelligent technology and automatic steel processing equipment were employed to ensure that there was no sewage or dust discharge. To reduce dust and noise during construction, engineers decided to use a completely enclosed cement mixing plant, eco-friendly trucks, and hydraulic pile hammers instead of diesel pile hammers. The cut and cover method, a popular construction method for undersea tunnels in China, was utilized to construct the 20-kilometer, six-lane expressway that runs beneath Lake Taihu close to Shanghai. In this situation, a trench is dug on the ocean floor, and steel or concrete pieces are placed inside of it. Rock is then positioned on top of the upper portion of the tube once the water has been pumped out of the resulting route. Divers seal the parts after they have been joined. Its construction was fraught with difficulties due to its large scale, difficult construction techniques, high safety risks, and stringent environmental protection regulations. However, the engineers on the project were competent and were able to handle all the mishaps that occurred. It is anticipated to have a significant economic impact on the nation and would serve as a show of strength for the rising global superpower, 
The tunnel's construction has been planned since 1994, but it has remained in the planning stage for the past 20 years. Fortunately, the plan was eventually carried out thanks to tunnel waterproofing technology and the use of advanced instruments to excavate up to 4 meters beneath the lake. Despite having one of the largest high-speed rail networks in the world, China is not satisfied and is still undertaking more elaborate construction. In the Beijing suburbs, a new long tunnel is being constructed. Beijing may be looking to the future as its network reaches the farthest regions of its country. For China, the goal is to build a train that travels from mainland China up through Siberia in eastern Russia through the Bering Strait into Alaska across the mountainous peaks of Canada's Yukon and British Columbia's Yukon Territory and into the United States via the Bering Sea. Once it is constructed, they might extend their transcontinental bullet train to every region of the United States. The cost of this mega-project has been estimated at an unbelievable fee of $200 billion. China's intention to build an 8,000-mile super railway with the name China. Russia, Canada, America originally came to light in an article published in the Beijing Times in 2014. Additionally, it will cross all four nations and will facilitate trade, tourism, and economic development. Another Chinese mega undersea project is a 123 kilometer long tunnel beneath the Bohai Sea, which is significantly larger than the one in Shanghai. Engineers in China may soon begin building the world's longest submarine tunnel, estimated to be 76 miles long, beneath the Bohai Sea. It would be longer in total than the Seekin Tunnel and the Channel Tunnel, two of the sum of the world's longest underwater tunnels, and has an estimated project costs for $32 billion. According to a report from August 2014, the building was forecasted to start during the 13th five-year plan and take 10 years to finish. The tunnel, which would be operated by China Railway Engineering Corporation, would connect to the Chinese high-speed railway system. Cars would be loaded onto railway carriages for the 40-minute journey. The Bohai train ferry, which opened in 2007, currently takes eight hours to cross the strait. As China takes on more construction projects, the country's infrastructure and engineering capabilities keep increasing and evolving. One interesting thing about China is how they always want to take on a challenge. They do not shy away from complex projects or technologies, but face them head on. That concludes our video for today. If you enjoyed this video, you should also watch the next video on your screen, which shows China's new mega bridges that shocked American scientists. As always, please like the video and subscribe to our channel to see more exciting future videos.